All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode one of the Muscle Growth Series here on Legendary Training YouTube channel. In this series, we're going to take a close look at how the muscle building process works and how you can start incorporating these ideas to make better progress today. Now, before we can get into how many sets, how many reps, which exercises to do, what proper form is, etc., we need to first establish exactly what it is we're trying to do in the gym when we're building muscle. Now, you've probably figured out already that lifting weights is part of the equation, but what happens when you lift weights? Why does that trigger muscle to grow? Well, the key is that muscles sense a tension stimulus by the way of receptors on the tissue. Now, this is known as mechanical tension. You can think of your muscles as groups of tight rubber bands that have to resist a force being applied to them. And the stronger the tension stimulus is, the stronger the signal that's sent by your body to grow. It's important to understand that mechanical tension is what's actually driving hypertrophy. It's often said that we need to break the muscle down, we need to destroy the muscle, and it'll grow back stronger. That's a little bit of a misconception. If it were just damaged tissue that was needed to build muscle, burn and trauma patients in the hospital would be building muscle like crazy, but obviously that doesn't happen. Now the subtle difference in thinking about how muscle is built can have major implications on how we train and what we decide to do in the gym. Now hard training is of course still a prerequisite, but going to the gym to obliterate the muscle is probably not your best option. Training with the intent to obliterate the muscle can involve a lot of mechanical tension, sure, but it also unnecessarily damages the cell and connective tissue, and it can prolong the recovery process. So the hardcore bodybuilders that you've seen training like this do so because they're really, really advanced, and that type of training is sometimes necessary to continue seeing progress at an advanced level. But unless you're as advanced as them, training that way is probably not the best strategy for you. So which strategy is best for you? To answer that question, we need to take a closer look at mechanical tension and the specific stimulus required to build muscle. After all, you can create tension by doing lots of things. Pedaling a bike, jogging, jumping up and down. Even in the weight room, we have so many options. High reps, low reps, heavy weights, light weights, etc., etc. To make sense of all these variables, a more fundamental understanding is required. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in the next video in this series, so stay tuned.